like little song to play us in. A, a song? Yeah, do like a little like ba da ba ba ba. Ba da ba ba ba. Okay, you can't do that one. But anyway, we're live. Hi, everybody. Hey, Kale, let me ask you a question. What is the most exciting tree care event west of the Rocky Mountains? Ooh, west of the Rocky Mountains, or do you mean of all time? Okay, uh, well, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you a second what the most exciting oh, okay. tree care event east of the Rocky Mountains are. Okay, okay. Oh, Sarah's um, just gonna send the link to a bunch of people. Oh, cool. That worked out well last time. Um, I would say that Treetopia is the most exciting uh, event of all time in the tree care, and actually not he's not even the best tree cares. But definitely, of definitely west of the Mississippi, um, uh, the Mississippi, not even the Rocky Mountains. Not even wow. the Rocky Mountains. Heck, west, west of Maine. Could it, could it be the most exciting tree care event in America? I think it probably is and will. You be. think that's because of the games, the classes, the tree relationships, the tree bowls? What do you What do you think? Yes. What do you think really is that? I, I think it's all of those things, Nick, and I also still cringe when you say tree relationships. I think Treetopia is going to be awesome because of all of those things, uh, as well as because of the people setting it up, which is Tree Stuff and our uh, perennial partners, A Plus, right there in the back. So, That's how I describe them, our perennial event partner. Yes. Yeah, they've, they've, uh, they've been big partners with us forever. Uh, we love working with them. They're a lot of fun. They're real goofy people. Um, and they're helping us throw this awesome event. You know, I just got yeah. two more Spanish classes booked today. We're over 50 individual classes that are available. Uh, and I just finished, I just submitted another CEU submit. So I'm hopeful nice. that we'll have ISC CEUs for all of those classes. I just want to read through some of the classes that we have. Go We've got it. modern rigging, practical applications, and demo with Samson Rope. We have an E300 pruning standard from Allison Harrell. We're going to be covering the Certified Arborist Crash Course with Lindsay Purcell. That's a three-hour intensive. If you don't, if you aren't a Certified Arborist, you take that class, boom, you're ready. In three hours, he just nails it. Uh, definitely check that That's out. That's awesome. It's yeah, it's an absolutely great class. Uh, he does it all over the world. Um, go to that if you can we might need to update that list right there kale oh yeah this uh, list is probably possible. uh one of my favorite classes i'm really excited can you be rescued it's you not me from craig bachman he's going to be talking about what you can do to make sure that you're rescuable because you don't want to be one of those people who can't be rescued because you're an idiot so go to craig's class you won't be an idiot anymore i love mm -hmm. it we got saints on ninja master stuff masters and secrets of the boar cut also with Craig, and he's going to be doing a train the trainer class, which also abuts to a leadership and training class that uh, Meg is going to do. Uh, so really excited yeah. for both of them. We've got two classes with Taylor Hamill. He's going to be doing a comparison and contrast two of, of them. RT to SRT. Really exciting stuff. And he's also going to teach an advanced kind of kind of expert only. So exciting. He just has uh, to... DRT class. It's so exciting that I'm yawning. We're going to be talking about the difference between, no, it's, I'm always yawning by this time. I I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm coming around to my seventh cup of coffee for, for today. Yeah, I've got, I've got two empty ones sitting here. Look at that, you're double fisting. Yep. We're going to be talking about the fertilizer, granular versus liquid, macro versus micro, saving trees versus chipping them. I mean, wow, we will sell you a, a whole seat. But you're only going to need the edge. For that. I mean, that is exciting. And also, we're going to be talking about PHC that you can do without an applicator's license. Quick That's way to really add. Interesting one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Add some new services into your book of business. Ratchet up those profits. Cha-ching! Uh, I love it. You know, the California Urban Forestry Council partnered with us this year. They heard that our event was so good last year that they brought their entire event into treetopia so on saturday they're going to be having like five or six different classes urban forestry and climate resilience why trees are a good investment urban forestry's role in public health and equity how urban trees 
maybe improving our quality of life. Let me tell you, they are. Oh, yeah. We're also going to be talking about leadership that fosters integrity with Cyrus DeVere. He's the CEO of A Plus Tree, one of the fastest growing tree services in America. And he's oh, going right. to talk about how he leads that business and basically give you the playbook. Okay. We're, we're going to give you the playbook on how to build a business just like A Plus's. Timmy Womack, the one, the only Timmy Womack of Tree Circus fame is coming to give the Tree Circus demonstration. It's for kids. It's for families. There's going to be a 60-foot-long bounce house obstacle course. Rob Powell's here. He's in his car. He's about to join us. Rob's an in <laughs> integral part of the A-plus team uh, and helps us. Kale's going to get you in here, Rob, and then I have a few questions for you, buddy. Uh wow. You know, Mark Chisholm's coming, the one, the, the Chiz, they call him. Uh, he's like the 47-time New Jersey tree climbing champion. He won internationals like a thousand times. Mm -hmm. uh, I one love that. Famous arborist. He's going to be here teaching all sorts of classes as well. He, he was here the last most, time too. Yeah, he might be the most famous arborist in the world. Aside from Rob Powell. Or me. Class is nice and light, and I get an easy day, right? I uh, I doing am this? I am uncertain of the, those types of scheduling <laughs> conflicts, but you know he's gonna be he's gonna be working with Jared Abergina as if it didn't get like good enough. You're gonna have Jared and Mark teaching, working the spar as well as a second class. Uh, they changed the name on me. I originally named the class "Climb Fast But Don't Die" plus safety. Uh, we're calling it "Maximizing Your Climbing for Speed and Efficiency," which. Yeah. Poopy name, but going to be a cool class. It was definitely better with climb fast, don't die, plus safety. Uh, wow, you know, we've got a two-part how to inspect a tree with the famous Michael Oxman. Most people just call him the Ox. Yeah, he was there last time of uh, just taking pictures and, and videoing everything. So uh, we have all of his media and he told us that he just wanted to become a part of this. So uh, it's much bigger. And we said, Hey, we've added on another day. We've got more places of, if you see all of these columns here are different areas for classes that we have uh, that'll be going on uh, all three days. Um, and so we said, Hey, jump in here. We, you know, we need more instructors, uh, and you know a lot about trees, so go for it. Uh, Rob, I've got a question for you. Hold on. I just want to say that I just read half the classes, not even all of them. Yes. Go yeah, ahead with your question. Go ahead so with your many, question. So many Rob. classes. Um, Rob, uh, can you explain for us what the human claw is? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it is a game for all ages. So I'll start off there. All ages, all skill types. Um, yep. We have four different systems on four different corners of a, we'll call it a cage, even though you're not caged in, but we pretty much set you up on a stage and we got a bunch of cool prizes on the other side and you got to pull on ropes and use different systems and pull your weight and move your way over, grab a box with your legs, pull yourself over, set it down in a, a certain amount of time. And uh, the, the better you are, the less time you got. And the newer you are, the more time you got. We're going to play it that way this this time, right? <laughs> We're going to adjust a little bit, but there's there's some cool prizes. It's uh, it definitely gets you going because you you got to know you got to know your systems. You got to know how to go it, and then you got to know how to not be nervous and freak out while you're doing it. Because if you've never done it before, and it's all nerves and adrenaline, so it's 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 good times. And I think we usually have a bigger cage. I think we're setting up a little bigger than we did bigger? last year, so you got a little more. Yeah. Wow. I, th I think that cage gets a little bigger, so we're going to try to make a little more challenging for those experienced folks out there. That's get incredible. Them going. But yeah, oh. you're, you're hanging from four different corners of four systems on, on one part of your bridge, and you move yourself around and, it's and a blast. grab prizes and go from there. Did you get a it chance a to play the touchdown game last year, Rob? I did. That's that's the one where you you swung over and, and sat down in the squares. You dropped them mm -hmm. into yeah. the certain areas, right? You got to land on the yeah, point targets, taking a big swing. I did. That's one of those that looks easy until you try it, and then you realize that it's it's really easy to miss your target. Because you're waiting so. in line. You're like, what's this guy doing? What's this lady doing? Why can't they land on the targets? Then it's your turn, and you're just like whack it in the ground. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we've got so we've got human claw. We have 
uh, the touchdown game. We have also some of our other favorites that we've done before the giant ninja ladder and the obstacle course. Uh, there's going to be an articulated loaders course. Vermeer's doing their own skid steer showdown thing. Uh, we've been working on getting the log loader bear hug uh, going. I think we also We're not going to the log loader, but I think the bear hug's a go. I got ropes from Samson plus Taylor Hamill from DMM is going to come and help me rig it using a giant Keanu. Kale, can you put the, uh, the the web address for where to get tickets up on the screen for me? Yeah. Uh, You're going to go to utopiausa.com uh, and click Get Passes. There are tickets available still, uh, and we would love to see you out in California so that you can meet all of our Treeple friends and make tree relationships like the great tree relationship that uh, Tree Stuff and A Plus Tree have together. Rob. Have you built relationships at these uh, types of events? Yeah, between these and TCIA and moving around, this is, I mean, I, I go to places and it's a big party with a different crowd in different states all the time. And it's about 80 degrees out here in California. It's probably about between 75 and 80. We got perfect weather for the Oof. event. So not too hot, not too cold. We don't have humidity out here, so you get to have, have good relationships, meet some good people, have great weather, and have, have a good time. So, yeah, it's th these are great events. It's a small industry. You did say a big party, and I think that that's a nice segue because we're having two huge blowout parties with live climbing expeditions this year. Uh, there's going to be a live footlocking head-to-head -head tournament that's open for anyone to enter. That'll be on Saturday, Friday night, and then on Saturday night, we're going to have a 10-person exhibition of our Capture the Canopy game uh, at night. It's going to be wild. I am so excited. Mm -hmm. So excited. Yeah. So it's, it's a, a party like you've never been to uh, unless you were at the last one, in which case it's sort of like what you've been to, but it's going to be even bigger. So uh, it's, it's really cool. We have, uh, I believe tickets are still... Uh, on a discount, like an early bird discount on treetopiausa.com. So if you're Not watching this... In the next day or two, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's, you you want to get those before uh, before it ends. But this is the place to be. Uh, it is a tree festival. It is uh, better learning than you can get anywhere else in the world. Uh, and it's also ending up that it's going to be pretty much a, an entire expo. Uh, but cooler, but way cooler, way more fun, uh, because we have every sponsor in the world wants to come and set up their booth uh, and talk to people out here. And we've got somewhere between, I want to say, about sixty and $80,000 in giveaways uh, for the event. Uh, there's like forty grand in cask helmets alone mm -hmm. that we're giving away as part of the mm -hmm. Human Claw game. Uh, I sent like five pallets of merchandise out earlier this year that we cleaned out at the warehouse. Um, a ton of stuff from Teufelberger, Samson. You know, we got $3,000 in cold, hard cash from Samson. Uh, yeah, that's really exciting. That'll be a prize for the footlock competition. So the person who comes in first place wins a thousand bucks. Uh, over 50 different classes. There's going to be, I think, eight different games to play or six different games to play. A ton of games. Counted like 10, something like that. So many, so many different things. Family friendly. Bring your spouse. Tickets are cheaper for. For people that aren't taking classes, mm -hmm. kids are totally free. There's tons of kids' activities. There's live music every day and every night. We have five different musical acts lined up currently. Yep. Uh, it's just it's just nuts. We you know, we've got national, like chainsaw salute. Um, there may or may not be a military flyover as arranged by Travis Vickerson. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> the New Jersey Crane team's going to be out there. They sent three cranes for us this year. Uh, from their partners, we're going to have so much fun stuff. You know, the Ninja Ladder is going to be up there again this year, right? Uh, so you can climb uh, with an auto belay up about 55 feet, a vertical hanging obstacle course. Wild. It's very tough. fun. It's tough. It's fun and the stuff. fastest people at the end uh, win some Prizes. stuff, depending on what the – yeah, here. So Cash, giant ninja credits, ladder we've got. Mm -hmm. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. That's going to be great. So um, come on out. Uh, Rob, what are you look most looking forward to? Classes are always a hit. 
we got some good outdoor training in actual trees. It's not a tree put up on a stage. We're in eucalyptus, redwoods. We got a bunch of different games set up in different areas. It's, it's everything's outside. It's beautiful weather, the family environment. I mean, the whole thing's just a blast. I mean, it's all day long from, or we open at nine, nine this time from nine till when we head out to the parties. It's the relationship, seeing people that I haven't seen for since TCIA and, and mm -hmm. the year before. So all the instructors, that's probably my favorite part. There's a lot of knowledge. Anyone who's out there who hasn't have a lot of experience in the industry or just wants to know more and know there's a better way to do it, this is the place to be. Firsthand, real-time training with the best in the industry, that's what you come for. And the party and everything is just icing on the cake. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Uh, we'd obviously recommend that you come there because we have spent a lot of time on this and we're coming down to the wire. We're pulling our hairs out, getting everything ready. So please come out, enjoy the fruits of our labors. <laughs> and, uh, is Nick frozen or just standing there really still? All right. Looks he's like either he's got frozen. a talent of standing still or he's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, go to treetopiausa.com. Uh, I'm going to kick Nick off of here and maybe he'll come back in. Uh, and you can sign up. All you have to do is go up to the top here. Oh, it's hidden. There you go. This little orange button right up at the top, get passes. Uh, that'll bring you down here to show you what all the tickets are. And that includes, so we've got early bird discount going on, basic admission, that's no classes, that just gets you in. Um, uh, kids under 12 are all free. There are also, I believe there's still a few volunteer opportunities uh, to get you in for free uh, if you help us out a little bit because we've got a lot of stuff going on. Camping is the other cool thing. Have you been out to the campsite yet? Rob, I have, I have, we've, we've done a lot of work to it. I haven't been out there in a few days since we did a little more work to it, but it's a big open area. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. So people are going to have, you'll be able to rest. If you want to rest, you'll be able to hang out and, and uh, do some more socializing. If that's your, if that's what you're in there for, but yeah, it's, it's a big open campground. It gets nice and cool at night. So you're not going to be sweating it's, it's right in American Canyon, not far from the venue. Yeah. And we actually have some shuttles coming out to help people move back and forth. So <laughs> If you're having a little too much fun you can we can still get you around yeah it's uh so we're covering all bases i believe that was tesla is going to be shuttling people back and forth right it is they, tesla vallejo uh, yep they get a local dealership and they want to they're out here to show us that they're more than just a car company and they're actually part of the community and helping us out so they are yeah. doing exactly that and they're being part of the community and helping us out that's pretty cool we've got um a lot of uh, very eco-conscious things going on. Edelrid is actually going to be here, uh, going to be here, going to be there where you are. Um, and they are uh, really focusing on sustainability in their business. So th we have a sustainability zone that they're uh, pitching in to help set up. We've got solar power charging stations for uh uh, the battery powered chainsaws Husqvarna is bringing and, you know, your phones if you need them, um, as well as they're running our new Capture the Canopy game uh, that is where, I don't know if we've told you about this. So essentially, uh, you have a head-to-head -head dealio going on of going up the tree, set a lot of uh, tokens up there, however mean we decide. We haven't seen the tree yet. Uh, you get a, a time limit, and then you have to switch and the other person has to try to bring those tokens down uh, as fast as they can. And it's kind of a race because it all happens, I think, either in the same tree or in trees that are right next to each other. And then uh, at the end of the day, some of the people who've done that and who are the fastest are going to be invited to come out to the party and do that competition for actual money. And we'll set up and... and and it'll be a whole big shindig and we'll have lights and fog machines and stuff like that. So that's one of the new ones um, that we've uh, we've done before, but never quite in this uh, situation here at Treetopia. So uh, come on. So this is for that. It's king of the canopy meets meets the party pretty much, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, a, it's an ongoing game throughout the day as kind of just people having fun uh and also we're gonna have people watching that and judging and making sure uh, 
kind of taking notes to see who's really excelling at this and who's going to be really good and fun to watch. Uh, then we'll put on the show and actually do some climbing for money. But yeah, that's a cool one. There's Samson Pong, which we might talk about uh, the next time that we do this live stream uh, that we're going to set up. So uh, yeah, uh, Rob, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, everybody who is watching, please go to treetopiausa.com and uh, get your passes. Come on out to Vallejo, California, August 4th through 6th. Uh, it's going to be a blast. It will be a it, it, it will be worth your time uh, and you will learn a lot. So without further ado, have a good time. I look forward to seeing.